Now back to the pricing, you know, you said, you know, the SMBs look at it like just normal messaging. So therefore, it would be priced just like normal messaging. Most people in the United States, you pay for outbound, maybe you get inbound free, or it's a very nominal fee. Um, that seems like a, you know, a good model, and it makes a lot of sense for marketing type stuff. Then you get into the customer support. That's when you're texting Delta, and you're saying, hey, when's my flight? You have a conversation that's maybe 20 messages back and forth. Does the same pricing model that you're recommending, does it have any kind of deviation for conversations? Or will it just be, you pay per message, in and out? So we, we think this is part of the issue that's been holding back the industry, is that not only is how much does an RCS message cost, but when does an RCS message turn into a session? Okay, and, and then a session is a like... A session is when you start having this engaged to and fro. Okay. So, you know, if you very much think that an SMS is very much kind of a uni unilateral exchange, RCS is meant to be this bilateral conversation where your consumer obviously starts engaging with the brand and, and, and so on and so forth. So the question is, what is a session? How do you then bill for a session? Is it based on time, number of messages, length of time, length of messages, whatever? Everyone's got a different opinion. Okay. And the trouble is, if you think within the GSMA community alone, there's, what, 850, 900 operators. Yes. You've got all the kind of associate members, which are another few hundred, I think. And everyone, if everyone's involved in that, everyone's got an opinion. Yeah. So we've been processing all of these opinions. And so we kind of think, actually, what happened, needs to happen is that there needs to be a clear divide okay. between what is a, a single event message and what is a conversation. So at no point when a consumer starts engaging with a brand, if they're using messaging, will that become a, a conversation? So what we're basically proposing is that a brand either buys a bundle of messages or a bundle of conversations, and the two are kept completely separate. Okay, sort of like SMS and MMS. They're, they're similar, but they're built completely Different. differently. Yeah, exactly. Because, so if you're a brand and you want to use more richness, then let's say instead of calling it a message, we now call it, let's say in terms of pricing, it becomes a token or credit. Okay. And so with more richness in each message, you can either use... Let's say if you're going to send a carousel, that could be five tokens. Okay. So then you can then you can then as a brand say, well, we've just purchased fifty million RCS message yes. messages tokens, or, tokens yep. and this is how we're going to use them. Now, it could be that with you know, let's say some heavy users, they will use 30, 40, 50 messages going to and fro yes. with that brand. And at which point they're going to think, well, actually, it's going to be more effective for us to use, not stop buying single event message yep. engagements and move the conversation. That's like an open session for maybe 24 hours. You get unlimited exactly. messaging yeah. or something like so that. So within that, so we think that should be cost around 10 to 12 cents for uh, a US conversation. Dollars. US Yeah. Okay, 10 to 12 cents. So if I want to message Delta and have a long conversation with them, about buying something or changing flights, 10 yep. to 12 cents. And then uh, the individual transactions, the SMBs think it's like one cent, just like an SMS, you know, kind of the standard. Whatever, yeah. So basically it would be, I mean, it would be, it would follow SMS pricing. Okay, yeah. You know, but I think what we'd need to do is just kind of get that divide in brains, in the, in, in the mindset of... Because of, it's brand new. Of brands, exactly. Yeah. Even and, email marketers don't think of it that way. It's it's all just kind of push for email marketing. Yeah. You're more going to like a, a customer support desk where you're having conversations. It's like a completely different, even though it's email, mm. it's two different things. Absolutely. Okay. So it's changing that mindset. So we just think by buying a bundle yep. of tokens, that starts to create a clear divide between what's happened previously with SMS and what we hope will happen with RCS. Obviously, this is just kind of a, a almost a pre preliminary model. Yeah just to kind of be able to position it and go to the brands. Because there will be other models coming around. It could be something more around advertising. Obviously, you've got the customer care element coming into yes. this as well. And then you've got something like chatbot search as well. So all of these, I mean, what we're looking at right now is just a kind of effective a kind of termination rate model. Okay. But and this is just going to be layered out. And at the RCS lab, are you going to essentially be saying like 10 to 12 cents? Like you're going to be that specific on yep. the price? Okay. And that's one thing. There has been a discussion about you know sessions and direct messaging, but it's always okay. And then they kind of move on, and you're like, well, what? How much? Hmm. So you're throwing a price out there. We're just basically throwing a concept that yeah, 
we hope companies can embrace and go to brands with. Okay. That's what we're doing. It's just trying to move things forward another step. Yeah. You know, because we're at the time now where we really need to turn this and transform this into a commercial opportunity. Got to stop talking about it yep. and do it. And you're you're actually going out and talking to the brands yeah. uh, to get their feedback. So this is not you're talking to the carriers and you're kind of transforming what the carriers think and then saying that's what the brand should think. You're actually going out and talking to the brands and saying what is the value here. So it's pretty it should be relatively accurate because I think only the people in that's the the RCS labs are the people, the aggregators, the people that are selling it. Mm. We have our own opinions on what it should be, but at the end of the day, it's what they'll pay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, and again, everything, everyone's different. Yeah. So you know, it could be that for customer care, you, you know, brands will pay a lot more because if you think, what's the comparison there? Correct. If it's if it's the cost of a call, yeah, then you could be looking at four or five dollars per call. Yes. Whereas for the cost of an RCS conversation, whatever that could be, you know, it could be, you know, it could be that you're charging a dollar, two dollars. That brand is still saving money. Yeah. And the chances are it'll be a much better experience if it's a chatbot in theory than dealing with a human. It should be far more efficient and potentially that customer will go away feeling far more satisfied. Yeah. So, you know, the benefits around all the other areas, um, you know, kind of like MPS, etc., should also be felt. I, I see how you're kind of positioning it. It's let's compare, you know, RCS to the other channels rather yeah. than I think for the last few years it's always been let's compare RCS to the existing SMS channel. I, I like that because then it, it really puts things in perspective. But I think we have to align the SMS. You know, if you're paying just sub penny rates on SMS, it's it's going to be a jump for them. You know, especially if they think it's just another SMS message. But it doesn't have to be, though, because it depends how you use RCS. Correct. So, again, so if you just price it, even though, you, let's say, you're buying one token, using yes. one token, which is, let's say, effectively the cost of an SMS anyway, nothing changes for them. Correct. But ultimately, they might actually think, well, I might want to add a bit of richness. Yep. And instead of using one token, I'm going to use two tokens this time. And then if they start to see more engagement, so, more interaction, so you it think gradually from, pushes them up the value chain. You think from a marketing standpoint, oh, so the, and maybe people that are watching this, they were thinking the, the RCS message is just everything that RCS offers, that's going to be like one cent. You're saying essentially, if it looks like an SMS message as an RCS, that's one cent. If you yep. want to add a carousel, you pay a little bit more. Exactly. So, okay. so it'd be, let's say one token would be for the, a basic RCS message. Same 160 SMS. characters or whatever Exactly. Yeah. So okay. there's no change. Okay. But then if you want to add a picture, if you want to add a link, a video, or you know, one rich card, or even stretch that to a carousel, then you pay with more tokens. So you're like building on top of the base rate of one cent. Exactly, yeah. And then that can go up to whatever it is. And then on the other side, you'll have the session. Yep. And that will be just an open kind of gateway. Which will obviously also undercut the cost of yes. five tokens. Okay. So that's the whole point of really kind of pushing people. To the session. Onto once the session. Gets... Yeah, exactly. Yeah.